it, it isn't meant to be a career, you know. Uh, this, I don't do this for money. Um, I do this because there's nothing else I can do. A life without art is a miserable existence. This building was First Presbyterian Church. It's interesting, in 1902 when the building was built, this was the suburbs and it was a really exciting time for the city. One interesting thing about First Presbyterian is that an elder was President Benjamin Harrison. And President Harrison was actually the chairman of the building committee. And he got to say, hey, we're building a new building for our church and uh, it gets to be on my block. I get to walk to church. However, he never worshiped in this space. He died before the building was completed. And if you've been to the Indianapolis Museum of Art, there's a beautiful Tiffany window called the Angel of the Resurrection. And that was purchased by Benjamin Harrison's wife in honor, in memory of him. And it was installed in the sanctuary here um, at 16th and Delaware, where it stayed for many years until 1970 when the building closed as a church. So they closed their doors, but they didn't abandon the property. They actually decided that this building would continue to serve the community. And so they created the Presbyterian Metropolitan Center, and it was a social service center. Over the years, the building fell into decline. In 2000, the building was closed as a social service center, and it was purchased by an arts philanthropist, Jeremy Ephraimson. And Jeremy had this wonderful vision of turning it into a studio center where artists could have studios and where there could be nonprofits that were serving the community in many ways. I love the arts. I, I, I've, you know, not made money in the arts, and I've honestly probably lost a lot of money. But I, I love it, and um, you know, I've always been trying to, you know, make sure the arts are alive in Indianapolis. There was this building called the Ferris Building, and it was the center of the art scene. It was this amazing building with high ceilings and big windows and cheap rent. Uh, Lily bought it and they moved all the artists out of it and so it was like uh, Indianapolis was searching for other you know artists were searching for other places to go to you know what I basically figured was oh there's all these artists around and they're gonna be looking for space and can we you know find a building for them to go into and uh, through a realtor I you know happened to stumble upon this building and the building had been empty for a couple years when I got it so I mean it was in really bad shape The newer part of the building was classrooms and it was just like they had walked out one day, like there were still papers and the cubby holes and you know tables and desks. The other part of the building was in really, really bad shape. There was a huge hole in the roof of the sanctuary and water was just pouring in. And they'd also had a thrift store over there. And so they had laid clothes out all over all of the um, pews in the sanctuary and they were all soaked with water. And it smelled so bad that you couldn't go in there for, for 60 seconds without having to you know, hold your nose and run back out again. We took like 50 of those huge dumpsters worth of stuff out of here. Most of it was either damage from water or exposure to the elements. To be really honest about it, I had no idea what I was doing. I had no idea about construction. Had I looked at this building objectively and probably hired someone professional to come in and do estimates, I would have realized the scope of the work. If I had done all my homework, probably I would not have bought this building and I would have done something else. I really think that if I hadn't done this building, it probably at least parts of it would have fallen in and collapsed in the ground and maybe the whole thing would have got bulldozed. I also think that as I look back on it, I am proud of, of what I did here and what the Harrison Center has become. Um, the thing is, is sometimes you get into projects and you never know what the end result's gonna be, you know, or what good is gonna come out of, of things. And sometimes, I mean, that, that's another thing, lesson that I learned. It, it can always be unexpected, the good that comes out of something. And I would, uh, I would never, you know, have expected that the Harrison Center would be this successful and have continued with this whole arts um, emphasis uh, for this long.